Oh my god, guys, the craziest thing just happened. I see some guys who look just like you here, and it's wild. Haha. <laughs> What a beautiful blue sky, sunny day. So of course this one wants to go inside to the Joppa Mini Expo. Joy. I'm Mr. King Dice, I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice, I'm the devil's right hand man. I can't let you pass, cause you ain't done everything. Bring me those contracts, come on bring it. Circle. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I have ESPN. <laughs> if you haven't finished your task, have not worked assiduously. No, I cannot let you pass. Don't you mess with me. Don't what did you find? <laughs> Slab of meat action figure for Rocky. <laughs> you gotta play something. Don't mess with me. This one's really cool. Look at this. So not only does he turn, but you've got the hand. Something's attacking me, isn't it? So I, I jump <laughs> behind me, isn't he? <laughs> He's an ugly spot. Oh, red, but... Yeah. There's so many more. Ugly little yeah. spot, isn't he? <laughs> I wanted ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Star War? I'm a, I'm a Star War. I'm here representing the best thing about Star War, and that's right here. This is the Star Wars Holiday Festival. Okay? This is Life Day 2022. Me and my friends, we celebrate it every year. Miss Miss B. Arthur, go straight up to you, sweetheart. Happy May the 4th. Whip Whipster. Whip, whip, yeah. whip, Whipster. 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 I mean, come on. Hey. You've got to give That's some credit to the fact that she knew that. You no, know, the forearm, yeah. Sorry, get me fun. <laughs> hey, nerdlings. Hopefully you enjoyed that montage look at the Joplin Collectors Expo Mini. And I also hope that you'll stick around to see some of the pickups that we got. So it shows you sometimes the mini conventions are just as good as the regular normal size. Although I dimensions. don't know how much longer they'll be able to call this a mini. I was impressed with how many <laughs> vendors they had there. It was a lot. Normally it's just in the one little gym area for the mini collector's core. This was spread out quite a bit, so I was impressed. They're going to just have collector's core in the beginning of the year and collector's core at the end of the year. They're not going to be able and to have a you mini. Would be fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> Although I will say that this one, it didn't seem to have as many people 
and there's a lot of factors at play here like was it because it was a mini so maybe people didn't want to check it out was it because it was actually really nice weather that weekend and there was a ton of stuff going on like all of the festivals and everything the outdoorsy stuff is happening so it was also star wars day it yeah. was free comic book day there was a lot going against it it was also spread out so it just might not have felt that big but i mean hey at least we weren't shoulder to shoulder which is why we were able to find some really cool stuff first of all like one of the first tables we stopped at this 3d printed comic book holder this amazing is a great way to display like that specific issue of a comic it's weighted and of course we had to go with this design yeah you bought it for me you said i'm not letting that go because that's my that's my girl and the coloring too yep. that's right up your alley yeah, you always perfect. like stuff like this yes they had some more that were like generic in the fact that it just said Marvel or just DC. DC yeah. I would love to get some of yes, those. So I really do hope that we run into this person again. Definitely want to get at least a Marvel and a DC and then maybe talk to them about doing something else. That'd be fun. And of course we also got a new sticker to become a magnet and a button. Some swag for Tremendicon. So future Do You Nerd video right there. We will be hitting up Tremendicon again. And so should you. You really should. Yeah. <laughs> if you're in the area we'd love to see you there. Naturally, you found toys. You've got three new action figures to your lineup. I do. Oh, wait, that's Spider-Man. Sorry. I got to add Zombie Stark to the list, which is really cool. I know for a fact I do not have this one. I had Zombie Cap, but not Stark. And I also think maybe he might be a little bit of a ghoul from Fallout because he didn't have a nose. This one, I'm not sure if I have or not. I have to go check because I do have quite a few of the uh, X-Men from the first movie. But I got it because of Hugh Jackman. Come on, guys. Let's, you know, we, we love our Hugh Jackman. And, you know, I mean, like, what was he expecting? Yellow spandex? <laughs> what would you prefer? Yellow spandex? Almost forgot. Oh, am I going to war or a circus? What'd you expect? Black leather? And he, he has some action you know a little little twisty twisty this is another one i don't know if i have this specific one or not but there was something about it that i was just drawn to i just felt that i needed this one for some silly reason and i still looking at him go why it's just his normal suit but i still feel like i need him is that weird yeah is that weird to feel you need a toy it is he comes with the the kiss face so that's nice right well, you weren't the only one to get toys. We love our NECA figures, whether it's the Toonie Terrors or the bigger guys. And we got Freddy from A Nightmare on Elm Street, the NES version of the game. I don't think this box plays any music when you open it, like the Friday the 13th one. I don't see a Which speaker is a shame. or anything. I feel like that's a, like a waste. But I do love all of the extra features that are from the game. You know, the screenshots, the status bars, and everything. Russ Lyman did a fantastic cosplay of this mm -hmm. Freddy. He even painted his uh, Toonie Terror to look like him, too. And, of course, this guy is going to go great with the NES NECA Jason figure. We met up with our good friends, the Ghostbusters of the Ozarks. This was made by one of the Italian Ghostbusters. Uh, during COVID. So they had, they had lots of time. And they gave me a little glow in the dark ducky. Because ducky. Because I asked them, I said, is it because it's green like Slimer? And they said, no, they were cheap on Amazon. And I said, okay. The hell is Slimer? My booty ain't as bodacious. That is Slimer. Thanks for the duck. <laughs> And another fun little animal that I got is this really cute 3D printed gecko, another wonderful fidget toy. But this one has magnets, magnets in his little paws and his little head so he can hang out on places. And I really like these. I kind of want to collect more next time I see them. I'm going to get another one. Somebody was telling me that their family was doing that and they would like, since they have magnets, like throw them against the door or the car and just see how they would stick. Their ceiling was metal, and so they would throw them up against the ceiling. I'm waiting for you to throw one to a car that's passing you and be I like, I would never Wait, do no. that! My gecko! <laughs> just really cute. I loved it. It was shiny. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be any kind of convention without some kind of comic book pickup. We got some freebies. Thanks for our pal Jazz. I went with this a domino cover where 
Morbius is attacking Domino, but look at that great vampiric, gonna bite you, ripping your clothes, it's all horror. She doesn't it. look like she minds. And then I got Iceman and the uh, Ice Queen herself, Emma Frost. I just like Emma Frost. You know, anybody <laughs> that can walk around in their lingerie and pull it off, which she can, more power to you. <laughs> well, on the comic front, you've also got this adorable plush Wolverine. I did. I got this cute. I, I've got to glue his little ear thingies back together because <laughs> it's like he's got little wings back here. I wanted to get a plushy Wolverine because, again, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, he's hot. I like him. Then, speaking of X-Men, I found this lunchbox. Now, this is a more modern thing, of course, but the embossed figures on the lunchbox itself, mimicking that issue one cover is great. I love the side art pulling from some of those earlier issues that had, like, the full-on lineup. And when you open it, it's got the thermos. Which With the cup. I would hope so, since it's a newer one. And the villain's gallery it is amazing i love it and i even asked him i said hey so now do i need to start making your lunch you can take it in your lunch box and he goes no it'll get messed up yeah, it would yeah <laughs> i'm kidding all these guys would be rubbed off and flattened that's true that's no fun that's true and then you'd come home crying because you were stupid at lunch and decided to trade your lunch box for some baseball cards and then you're like i don't even like baseball cards <laughs> only me that are work so <laughs> i guess i'm still making out in that deal <laughs> the last thing is another kind of peculiar collection of yours you collect yeah, mr potato heads i do um i've got a couple uh doctor who mr potato heads and i don't know why i just like the weird random potato heads and there was a really good deal these were 15 bucks a piece so i found spider-man which you know who knew spider-man was a spud I knew he was a stud, I didn't know he was a spud. With the way his suit doesn't come all the way down, it's like if I were to put on a Spider-Man suit, and you would see this, and this. The webbing has a nice touch though. Whip, whip. Look. Now he's Peter Parker. I also, in a much smaller sense, got a Deadpool. And then best of all, I got Indiana Jones. I told you, I don't belong in a deep fryer, I belong in a museum. And what's so great about it is when you push his hat. And flagged. <laughs> but I just thought it was so cool because look, even the idol is a potato. Isn't that funny? I still think it should have been a tater tot. That would have been, I think that would have been cute too. All, and the funny thing is all of these in their little butts come with more faces and more parts of them that you can, you can do. Like this one comes where you can, I guess, take off his top and he becomes Peter Parker with glasses. But it's like without this Spider-Man like mask, he just looks like Mr. Potato Head with glasses. So I don't, I don't get it. But I was very excited because I, I get to expand my potato collection. Well, there you go. Just a couple of comics, but some fun toys and collectibles to pick up, even though it's a mini expo. Still worth checking them out. Some good prices on this stuff, too, mm -hmm. which was really nice. Yes. And, of course, seeing some of our friends there. <laughs> Hit up your mini expos and let us know in the comments down below what you think. Do any of you collect weird Mr. Potato Heads? Do you collect lunch boxes do you collect the lunch out of lunch boxes i got fired for doing that once but that's a whole different video we'll talk to you later nerdlings <laughs> bye nerdlings you got a little turtle pulling its tail is it a measure mic check lacy i'm a mic check and then there you go i could kick my own ass okay look at me limbo <laughs> I have the Okay. With the Toonie. With the NES. Oh, his feet fell off. <laughs>